again. So today, scorecard, star scorecard, cheat code, 5.2C. What is this? All right, well, so we're still dealing with decimals, rounding decimals to the tenths or hundreds place. Okay, so let's say we have three and 672 thousands, because we have our tenths place, our hundredths place, our thousands. The whole objective of rounding a decimal is, say we're going to round to the hundredths place. So this is the hundredths place, right? We need to look to the decimal to the right. So we're going to have to look at the two. Does the two make the seven go up or stay the same, right? So five goes up like a high five. High five, right? If it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, the goods are going to run up, okay? If it's zero, one, two, three, four, it stays the same. So four stays the same. It's just it's just a hold. So if we're going to round it to the nearest hundredths place, that would be three and sixty-seven hundredths because the two stays the same. Now, let's look if we're going to round it to the tenths place. We need to look at the seven. Ooh, seven is, goes up. 3.3 3 and 7 tenths. So that's how we're going to brown. That's the whole 5.2c is all about rounding decimals to the tenths and to the hundredths place. So look to the right of the digit that you're rounding, right? The digit to the right will determine if the value will round up. High five, five, six, seven, eight, nine goes up, or if it's four or down. Four, three, two, one, zero. It's just going to stay the same number. All right. Vocabulary. Anytime you have estimate, about, a little more or less than, right? A little. If it's close to or approximately. All of that language, all of those words are used for rounding. Okay. That's called, you know, to estimate or to round. It's not going to be an exact answer. It's going to be close to. All right. So. Few questions. Let's look at this. In science class, Mark recorded the height of four rose bushes. Use the table below to determine which rose bush is approximately, there's a rounding vocabulary, approximately 12.7 inches tall. So notice 12 and 7 tenths, it's the tenths place. So we need to, let's underline the tenths place in each, and then we're going to circle the digit to the right. Oh, look, eight goes up. So that's going to be 12.8. Not it. That's not rosebush A. 12.64. So four is down, stays the same. So that's going to be 12.6. 12 12.75. Well, five goes up, right? So 12.75 is 12.8. 12 and eight tenths. Oh, okay, 12, this is 8 goes up, right? 12.7, rosebush D. And again, on your star test, you want to, I am begging you, please write, please write scratch work on every single question. Okay, none of this is mental math, and if it is, just prove that your mental math is right. A car rental service charges customers for the number of miles they travel. Round it to the nearest hundredth. Round it to the nearest hundredth. So let's underline our hundredths place. That's the second digit, right? Hundredths place. Now, um, Mr. George was charged 40 and 85 cents. $40.85 cents, or sorry, was charged for 40.85 miles. 40 and 80, 85 hundredths miles. Using the table below, determine the color car. Uh, determine the color car was Mr. George driving. Which color car was he driving? So let's go four rounds down. So 40.84, okay. Nine rounds up. 40.71. Four rounds down, so that would be 40.85. Oh, that was our answer. White. And then, look, seven goes up. So that would be 
eight, six. Look how close this is. We have eight, four, eight, five, eight, six. So they're going to get you. They're going to trick you. They, the, the star test is, is just, just trying to trick you. White was our answer. White. Okay. And notice, notice I circled white here and I circled H. It, it, just help yourself. Double check, double check. Every time you're taking the test, double check. So this was our video number one for 5.2C. There's going to be a second video and we'll do a few more questions. So thanks so much. Let me know how I can help.